Hi guys, in the last two videos we played around with loops, once with the while and the other one, uh, the other video dealt with loop, uh, basically the infinite loop in Rust. In this video we're going to deal with four. Uh, now I've got here uh, the four, the form of four, let me just comment this line out. And the, for, the form of four is very simple. It is four, then you have some variable or counter i, and then you have in, and then you have a certain range or iteration range. And um, let's go from one, uh, from one to, uh, let's say, 1,000. Okay, so that's the way, that's the way the four form is. And the way that goes, that means we are going to loop from one till 999. The thousand is always exclusive. If you need to include the thousand, then you do double dot and then equal. And that means now the thousand is included. Okay, so basically now we have, we have just uh, replaced our, um, our while loop with, with, a, with a for loop and uh, certain things we don't need anymore. We don't need the exit flag. You can comment this out. Um, I, I can have that and all of that I don't need. So basically we are back to the general form of our uh, of our program or the program is basically very here I don't need that either um, basically our program is very similar to the to the version we had with the loop except in this case we have a for loop now you see here with loop and with while our um, program went infinitely until uh, the user pressed either Y in the Y version or XX in the uh, in the loop version, but they basically went infinitely. In this case here, I cannot do that with four. That's that's the problem with four. Four sets a range from from there to there. So even if I do like a million, still it is not unlimited. So that's why in this scenario both uh, uh, four is absolutely not suited uh, whereas while is well yeah okay you know but in this case in this scenario loop was the best type of looping mechanism you could use the other two we saw last in the last video with while you had to add extra code this exit flag and so on and here with the four we have a certain limitation here which i don't like i mean i could have it like like as much as that but still it is a limitation even though no user is going to call that program or going to stay in that program so long still you can see that the four is not ideal for this situation and uh, anyways um, <clears throat> what we do now is basically try it out and then so we see how the how the how the for loop works but in the end effect it is here, what, so what I'm trying to say is that it is very important in each application <clears throat> to pick the suitable mechanism or the suitable function which, um, which is appropriate for that application. Because each programming language, be it Roth or be it uh, C or Python or whatever, they give you certain options. And you always have to pick the best option for your application. And in this case, as we saw, uh, loop, the loop mechanism was the best option for for our application whereas y was was a compromise and four is an absolute an absolute compromise and let me just check did i do everything right right okay let's let's save it and let's go cargo run and right so here we have compiled it so let's say mike and input your age uh, let's say 24 so you're definitely an adult, input your name, let's say Ronnie, uh, age 15. So it works, and XX, I should exit, and I've just exited. So it works perfectly. The only disadvantage of this version is that it just goes to a thousand or to whatever number you input in here, unlike the other two versions. So uh, that in a nutshell is four loops. 
Uh, when we deal with sequences with certain elements in um, uh, sequence elements in uh, Rust like vectors and so on, I will come back to the for loop. But in this case, dealing with this program, uh, this is this is a, 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 the way you do for loops. And here again, I'd like to emphasize that as you see um, in this case, for loops are not appropriate for this kind of application.